Let's see how we can transfer data from one workbook to another workbook by using VBA programming. On this sheet named as source, I have some data and I want to transfer row number 12 to different workbook. So let me show you the different workbook. I have another workbook named destination on my desktop. Let me open this second workbook also so in this second workbook we have data only till row number 11 let me close this second workbook so i want to transfer this row number 12 to that workbook named as destination so let's see what is the vba code for this i'll go to developer tab then from inside we have activex control let me select a command button right click on this command button select properties let me change the caption click here close this property window now I'll double click on this command button so that I can write VBA code on the click event of command button. So let's see what is the VBA code that we can use to transfer row number 12 to another workbook. So first of all, I'll declare variable for workbook dim wb as workbook and then I'll copy row number 12 this workbook dot worksheets within brackets I'll give name of sheet which is source dot rows I want to select row number 12 dot select once row is selected, then selection dot copy. Once I have copied row number 12, then I'll open another workbook. So for that, set wb equal to workbooks dot open. Within brackets, we need to give path and name of that second workbook. So let me minimize this window. Right click on the workbook where we want to transfer data. Select properties. I'll copy this path. And here inverted commas within inverted commas I'll use this path slash name of file is destination dot extension extension is xlsx inverted comma bracket closed and then I want to transfer on the sheet named as Let's check what is the name of sheet where we want to transfer data. Sheet name is final. So here wv dot worksheets final dot activate so what these two lines are doing first opening the workbook and then activating the sheet where we want to transfer row number 12 from current workbook now my task is that i want to identify that how many number of rows are already filled on second workbook on final sheet so for that last row equal to 
active sheet dot cells rows dot count I want to check by using the first column only dot and excel up dot row and then active sheet dot cells and last row plus one comma one dot select so by using this code we are identifying that how many number of rows are already filled and that number is stored in last row variable and then we are selecting the cell next available blank row so that means total filled rows plus one and then selecting the cell next to the filled row and then pasting is property of sheet so active sheet dot paste once row is pasted then active workbook dot save and while saving we want all the changes to be saved so for that active workbook dot close space save changes equal to true now we have copied row and pasted into different workbook on sheet name final and then we are saving the workbook and then closing the workbook now we don't need to use workbook object so we will release memory by using code set wv equal to nothing now data or row number 12 is pasted workbook is closed now we will come back to current workbook and on sheet name source we will select first cell so for that we can say this workbook dot worksheets source dot activate and then this workbook dot worksheet source dot cells first row first column that means cell a1 dot select and then one line of code application dot cut copy mode equal to false i am using this line so that we can get out of cut copy mode now let's check this vba code let me go to excel sheet click on design mode so that we are out of design mode now let me click on this command button so i'm hoping that row number 12 is copied from here and pasted to another workbook that is named as excel destination sorry only destination let me minimize this open that different workbook destination is the name of that workbook so we can see that row number 12 is pasted in different workbook let me show the vba code again so this is how by using simple vba code we can transfer data from one workbook to another workbook 
I hope this tutorial is helpful. If you like it, subscribe to my channel. And in case you have any question around this topic, write into comments. Thank you.